Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Your humble host, Picasso, here. Thanks for joining in. And today, another TMU video. Today, we got something that I've been searching around for, and uh, it's finally here. So, we're going to go ahead and take a look at this guy right here. This is a portable vacuum. Okay, so I hope that it's good because I kind of want something to use in the car. I did purchase a vacuum, uh, a miniature vacuum for the car from Amazon, and it wasn't the greatest. Now this, I honestly, from the pictures, I thought it was gonna be a little bit bigger, <laughs> but you know what, I got an open mind. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up and we're gonna see if it can do the job. I do have some tests that we're gonna run here today. I don't think there's any tape on this. So I'm going to, there we go, going to open it up like so. First thing I see is this part here. Okay. So I got this, I got this part. This is the first thing I see. All right. I'm going to rest that down over there. Next, we got some big parts and some small parts. We have this here. Okay, we got this part, all right. Then let's take the bag out. This part has some weight to it, this is heavy. Let's put that to the side. We got a charging cable, which is USB type C. As you can see there, type C to type A. Always a good sign when you see type C. We have uh, this little brush. Here I'm assuming this goes on the end of this like that so if you need a brush you have a brush or you know what maybe that's just how it's supposed to be it does show that on the box that the brush is there and then we have quick start guide okay that's all good let's file that to the side let's open the plastic and here it is i think that's a button but a button button but um okay let's get rid of this plastic might have to charge this guy up oh okay so it wasn't the button it's more like a protector for the button i'm gonna go ahead and press it let's see oh wow Okay. All right. All right. I like that. All right. Let's put this thing together. It seems pretty straightforward. I think all you really got to do is take this part. So this is uh, some type of filter, right? Now, again, it's small, but uh, I don't think to, it's, it's, <laughs> it's not exactly what I want for the car, even though the car doesn't get that messy, but um, I don't know if this is going to be able to handle any mess in the car that my kids might make. So you can see the little groove right here. Okay, and the little groove here, right there. I'm gonna go ahead and slide that in, turn, and it locks into place. Okay, on both sides. Wow, that does have some, it does have some pull to it though. I'll give it that. Uh, Okay, so inside here, you can see the little flap here. Okay, so that's obviously going to let the, the dust get in. We connect it like that, and we have a little vacuum. All right, so we're going to run some tests. So this is some cookie crumbs here. I do have an assorted uh, size, uh, assorted sizes. We got some little crumbs. We got some bigger crumbs. Let's see if this guy can handle the job. One thing I will say, it sounds like it's powerful. <laughs> so let's take a look.
Okay. Um, I am pleased to say it did the job. Okay. We can look in the filter there. We can see the crumbs are inside that filter. I wonder if they're going to cause a problem in there. It does have a nice little suction to it though. It, it does. It does have a nice suction. Let's see if I take that out without, without any of these, the uh, nozzle compartments, will it suck up the paper? Okay, so it does suck up the paper. Now see, my concern was that little flap part there. It's not really, you know, like you gotta watch it so nothing actually comes back out. Okay, I think that could have been set on a little bit more securely, but I do know that it will pick up the crumbs. I don't know how much it's gonna work inside the car, but I will definitely give it a shot. So I have some shreddings here from my shredder. These are my old driver's license, my old health card, that type of stuff. Let's see if this guy can pick it up. It's getting caught in the brush part, but for the most part, it did it. It did pick them up. Honestly, I'll give this a three out of five. Okay, the little flap, it is a bit smaller than I thought it was gonna be. Um, I wish it came with, you know, maybe a couple more nozzles because this brush is okay. This is more like for crumbs. You know, if you have something a little heavier, you want something a little bit more firm. That way you can actually like really get in there with some, some elbow grease. But honestly, yeah, this is a three. You know what? This is a 3.5 out of five. Honestly, that's a 3.5 out of 5. So, not bad at all. Um, it's definitely worth it. Let's go ahead and take a look at what I paid for it. It is the wireless the wireless handheld high suction mini car vacuum cleaner. It has 10,000 PA suction, lightweight vacuum for home, office, car, etc. As you can see there, I paid $22.48 for it, Canadian. And again, if you're into after paying Klarna, you get four interest free payments of $5.62. So, you know what? For <laughs> just a little bit over 20 bucks, definitely worth it. So like I said, I'll definitely give it a 3.5 out of five. So that's gonna wrap it up. Hope you guys enjoyed. I am your humble host, Picasso. I'll see you in the next one. Please leave a like, comment, share subscribe if you haven't already because there's plenty more teamy videos on the way and as always i'll see you in the next one peace i'm out